Hello, you're listening to the Alana Brunton podcast. I had a conversation with director Connor Armstrong Sanfi about his new feature film Lift, starring Jared Maxorley, and that's available to stream on Amazon Prime now if you want to check it out. And our conversation is up next. <laughs> like your background in directing and performing thus far? Yeah, well, I've been directing uh, theatre for now 11, 12 years. Um, and I studied film in college in the National Film School in IADT. And um, so I kind of split my time between theatre and film. Uh, I love them both equally. Um, mm. Both very different, but both both very challenging but both come with their advantages and disadvantages um and then i run a theater and film school as well so um i like to keep busy and i've been doing that for the last it's called stage days. screen classes so 50 percent is acting for, for mm-hmm. theater and 50 percent is acting to camera um and we do uh film production as well i think it's okay. important because yeah because I, I think it's important because most schools well most for teenagers and stuff most drama schools only do acting for stage mm-hmm. um and then a lot of the adult courses only do acting for camera or mm-hmm. stage so i think it's important to do both um especially anyone who wants to make a p- profession out of it mm-hmm. it's, it's very different ways of working uh acting for stage or camera so i think it's important to train in both um and also to expand and try script writing directing um camera you know, mm-hmm. the, the more skills you have, the better. Um, and even if you don't want, like a good example is to, if you want to be a director. Mm-hmm. I, I've had people come come into me saying they want to be a director. Uh, and I, I say, have you done any acting classes? Um, and they're like, no. Um, and I was like, okay, well, it's, you know, it's not necessary, but it's, it's beneficial if you take a few acting classes because then you understand what it's like to be an actor and, you, and that'll help you work with actors. Mm-hmm. So it all it all ties in together. Um, so the more experience you have, even if you just try the other aspects, um, mm-hmm. it'll it'll help you. You know. Yeah, and like most of most of my friends that would be like in film school or, uh, you know, uh, going on the path to being a director like yourself, they're they've probably like a lot of them. I would know probably did acting. Yeah. In the past, or did some sort of workshop or class. But that brings us on nicely to talk about your your feature film Lift, and uh, Ger- Jared Maxorley is actually starring in it as well, which is insane. And uh, so it's been picked up by Amazon Prime, um, and is now it's, it's available to stream now, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's available on Amazon Prime, which probably after Netflix is the second biggest uh, mm-hmm. stream in sight. Um, mm-hmm as free to stream on prime and um if you don't have prime they do offer a seven day free subscription Mm -hmm. so if you want to watch the film (laughs) you could subscribe and then just unsubscribe in seven days and you won't be charged yeah Um, i think i think everyone has done that uh, like done that for like a mixture Um, of them all but it's also on youtube um microsoft store itunes google play um xbox um so you can either rent or pay for it on that Um, but without without giving too much away connor could you give like just like maybe a rough um a rough synopsis of the film or even like maybe what like subject matters or genres it hits yeah uh well it's called lift um and it starts off in a it's a friday evening in a kind of high collar kind of expensive uh, building full of uh, workers and they're all going home uh, on a Friday night and the last few workers are finishing up and uh, the security guard Frank is locking up the building and he gets viciously attacked from from behind from this young man with a bat and he he knocks him to the floor and has a sudden moment, I won't say too much, but uh, it might be regret, might be realization and he decides to stop the attack and he runs towards the lift and gets into the lift and the last few workers are in the lift and the security guard with his last bit of energy uh, knocks off the power to the lift 
goes to ring the police, but falls unconscious. So that's how we get our six characters stuck in the lift uh, for the majority of the film. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and we begin to learn, we see the dynamics between the six very different characters. We begin to learn, uh, Sean is the main guy who attacked the security guard. Mm-hmm. We begin to see his backstory and what led up to the attack because it goes out of the lift through flashbacks. Um, and we understand his motivation and then the police come and it, it goes from there. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> so it can fall, I suppose it can fall into um, like a few, a few different genres. I'd say it's probably like a bit of action, a bit of drama, but I'm sure kind of maybe a bit of um, kind of comic relief. Uh, throughout, would I be correct? Yeah, yeah, a, dra- dra- a drama comedy, I would say. Um, yeah. uh, probably primarily drama, but there is, there is like it does. The tension does melt away, and there is a lot of banter in the lift. Mm-hmm. Um, so drama comedy, I would uh, say. Yeah. yeah. So okay. then, just like I'm curious, where did the process with like making the whole feature start? Because I know making a feature is a, you know, it's a much, it's a bigger endeavor, I suppose, than a short. Um, it is and it isn't though, because um, you know the you're shooting for longer and you're certainly <laughs> editing for longer. That's but, for sure. But you still have to do the pre-production. You still have to write the script. You still have to cast the actors. All of that you would do for a short. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is longer, but it's not necessarily a lot longer mm-hmm. uh, in the pre-production area. Uh, this actually started in 2013. Mm-hmm. Um, I put up a post on Facebook looking for a for a writer to come on board to help me out. And uh, Keelan Ryan, who's also an actor who I'd worked with a couple of times before, uh, got in touch. Um, he had just finished writing a book and was looking for another another writing project. And um, yeah, and we met up and we went through some ideas. I keep a little notebook with ideas. Mm. And in Always the notebook... Good. Yep. <laughs> Always good. Yeah, it's right beside my bed every night, just in case I come up with something brilliant. Um, and uh, yeah, the idea, we were originally going with a kind of naked gun cop kind of film. Okay. Tried to make that work for a bit and it, it just for whatever reason wasn't working. Mm-hmm. So he was like, do you have any other ideas? And uh, so I was just going through the notebook and I saw uh, stuck in a lift. That's all I had written. Uh, six people stuck in a lift. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, and he loved that, so he went away. And later that night, had to actually come up with the story for the film. And uh, so we worked on the script. Like he wrote the script, he'd send it on to me. I'd come up with different ideas. Um, that was for about a year and a half. Obviously, we were doing other day jobs and stuff. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. And uh, then in twenty fourteen. Late 2014, we started putting it in to, you know, getting actors and crew on board. Um, and then we shot it in the summer of 2015. Okay, right. And then, again, with that, there's the the, the shooting time and then all your post-production and, and getting it all ready for, I suppose, a release. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so it was shot uh, in 10 days. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, which is been an intense ten days. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know? Do you know what? Uh, because all about sixty percent of the film uh, takes place in a lift. Yeah. So, uh, so we actually we built the lift um, in this uh, studio in town in the city center. So no way. all the it, yeah. So all the lift scenes were shot in two days. Okay. So. So then eight days for the other stuff. So, um, you know, so that's why it was so quick because it was just yeah. one location. Often it's changing location and changing lighting setups. And so that's what takes the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and coming from a theater background, we rehearsed the actors. So it was great. So we were able to run the scenes. Like the first scene in the lift is 12 pages or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we were able to run that in one take. So we wow. ran it, yeah. So we ran it like a play. Yeah, so, that's what I, it sounds I, like. Yeah, so I mean, normally on a film set, you do, okay, this person says one line, okay, we cut, cut we go to get the shot on this person, and it takes 
you'd normally only get about half a page a day done. So this um, was like a continuous take, like the whole yeah. way through. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, not the whole way through. Not the whole. Yeah. Not the whole. Yeah. Not the, the whole, whole, for the whole like day. twelve pages. <laughs> but it, I, I do have like fifteen minute takes and stuff. Wow. So mm -hmm. that's that's how we got it done. Um, mm -hmm. We we we'd start off day one was all the wide shots, and then day two we went in for um, close ups and other shots. Um, mm -hmm. And um, and because we were only shooting for ten days, we could rent some really good equipment. Mm -hmm. um, so we had the Ari Alexa, which is probably the best camera in the world. Wow. Um, so that's why yeah. it, it, it looks like any other film you'd see. But if yeah. we had to shoot for 30 days, we couldn't have afforded the, the mm -hmm. really good gear. Mm -hmm. So... Um, that bit of quality, I, like that extra bit of quality, like I think so I can, it can make then, such like a difference. And, and all the rest, it made, uh, it's, you know, it kind of hit the... Uh, film festival circuit I imagine and so like where did it show prior to Amazon Prime yeah so we finished it in uh, I think it was April 2016 it had its premiere um, in the lighthouse in the city centre and then uh, yeah, then it screened uh, then for about a year it did the festival circuit like you said yeah. so, um, so it screened in um, Chicago Maryland, which DC, um, mm -hmm. the UK, uh, did a few festivals in Ireland, in Donegal, Dublin, a um, few other places. Uh, so we did that for about a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and it, it won Best Feature Film in two, two festivals, which was great. Wow, because um, it's like it's a victory like it's a victory a lot of the time that you know to get them in because there's so many like submissions to a film festival and people, then you yeah, win you know yeah well yeah. people don't realize that uh, yeah. it's not about winning it's not about winning film festivals it's about getting in yeah and absolutely that, that's the prize uh, now i will t i will tell you a story um i wasn't able to go to america because i was working um mm -hmm. to the two american festivals but uh keelan flew over Mm -hmm. who was the script writer and, the, and he acted in it as well. Um, and uh, he, he told me about a conversation he was having uh, with one of the festival directors in the bar afterwards. And he, he said something which I, I thought was really interesting. He said, your film being lift was the only film that submitted and got in. So basically all the other films that screened that year were selected, were just invited to screen. Um, oh, and, yeah, and a lot of film festivals do that. Uh, Sing okay, Street. I, I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. S Sing Street and The Young Offenders, bo uh, both two great Irish films. Mm -hmm. um, they screened the same year Lyft screened uh, uh, in the same festival, but they, yeah. they didn't submit. They, they um, just were but then I felt delighted that we were the, we beat all the other films then to be the only one that got in on just merit. You know? Yeah, exactly. In on submitting and really putting the film out there. And also these festivals, these festivals get hundreds, if not thousands of submissions. Mm -hmm. um, and I, 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 actually, I actually read an article one time, this guy, uh, it, he had a sci-fi film mm -hmm. and he was sending it off. And what you can do on Vimeo is you can send individual links to the festivals. So you know, oh. so you know, if they've, you know if they've even watched the film. So, uh, so this guy sent off, and he thought it was per to his ideal festival. It was a sci-fi festival, and specialised in something or other. That his film was exactly it, um, and he was shocked that he didn't get in. So he emailed them and said, uh, "Oh, you know, you know, just wondering. I, I thought my film was perfect for your kind of festival. Um, any feedback on why it didn't get in?" And they were like, "Oh, yeah, you know, the usual. Oh, yeah, no, we we enjoyed it, but we only have so many places." Um, and he checked, he then checked and they hadn't even watched it. Oh, wow. So, no. so I, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think they watch half the films that get sent to them. Yeah. Now, now we're going down a thorny issue here. Uh, you, pay <laughs> money to, you pay money to submit to these festivals. Okay. Uh, yeah. He, he actually, he actually got his money back. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but it, no, it is because he it chased, is. but he chased it. I suppose. I suppose yeah. I didn't know Vimeo kind of had this kind of kind of alleyway of it, you know, because I would have always thought it was a bit overshadowed, like overshadowed by things like YouTube. 
but I didn't know it was kind of this alley. Yeah, but, that yeah, happened. yeah, but it, it's more secure. You can't put your film on YouTube. Okay, right. Also, also, film festivals don't accept your film if it is on YouTube. Um, right. Like, obviously, private. It doesn't matter, but uh, if it's publicly available, film festivals won't like, watch take it. Film lift, uh, directed by yourself, Connor. Uh, <laughs> they can also go on to Amazon Prime. Whether you're already uh, signed up or you're taking a free trial, rent or buy it on YouTube, uh, Xbox, Google Play, Microsoft Store. Apple, iTunes, and also Hulu if you live in the States. That's very that's, good. It's very yeah, good. Thank you. you that's all like there. my monologue. <laughs> good job. So, uh, Connor, listen, thanks so much for coming on to the show. And, uh, no, th thanks a million, Alana. And, uh,